Hey guys, my name is Bharat and I'm the creator of Bharat in Germany. In the starting of year 2021, we wanted to plan something that would motivate you, that would inspire you in collaboration with Study in Germany Land of Ideas, a campaign conducted by that, the German Academic Exchange Service. So for this episode, we actually have a very special guest with us who is Olga from Bulgaria and she's studying currently at Regensburg. Let's take a look at her daily life and what she has to tell us. Hi guys, my name is Olga Kolva and I am 27 years old. I come originally from Bulgaria, but I've been living and studying in Germany since 2012. So in Bulgaria, in my home country, I went to school, so to primary, to secondary, and to high school, uh, so namely to the National Music School in Sofia, in the capital, and there uh, my main musical instrument was piano. In 2012, when I gra graduated the school and completed my school education, I came to Germany. So, well, you're maybe wondering why I did it, why I came to Germany. Well, uh, I had a dream, namely to study sacred music and organ and to become a church organist. So in 2012, I came to Regensburg and started studying the bachelor's degree in sacred music at the University of Sacred Music and Musical Education. During this study program, I was really interested in improvising on the organ. So I really like to sit down and to improvise on some melody. And uh, I really wanted to deepen this interesting area, to deepen the knowledge in this interesting area and that's why in 2016, after having graduated the bachelor's degree, I started studying the master's degree in organ improvisation, uh, which lasted two years. So I really completed the musical education in 2018. And now I'm doing another study program, namely bachelor's in international relations and management at the University of Applied Sciences here in Regensburg. So I decided to study something else because I'm not only interested in music but also in foreign languages, economics, politics and culture. So currently uh, I'm in my fifth semester or in the third year and I'm doing now my obligatory internship. So now I'm going to show you my day, my daily routine as a student, as an intern, as everything. So now I'm going breakfast. Of course, I don't have every day such a breakfast, but now it's um, so. So now here, here are some pancakes with cream cheese and ripe tomatoes in it, in them. And I'm gonna drink some tea, a cup of tea. Uh, so yeah, but often um, for breakfast I have bread with something, with cheese, salami or something, uh, or butter. Uh, or I also can eat something sweet, like a cake, a piece of cake, uh, or something else, I don't know. And these pancakes, we, we've cooked them uh, together with my mom, so my mom bake them and I help her to fold them so it was a little bit of tandem, a little bit of collaboration, you know. So now I would like to wish you bon appétit. As you can see, I am sitting here in front of my e-piano, here it is. And uh, here is also my second instrument, my organ, my e-organ, the home trainer, so to say because um, here I'm studying and preparing some pieces of music, so here it is. And uh, now here is my room, so here you can see uh, my wardrobes, and also uh, there is a printer here, and uh, also a cupboard for documents, and of course uh, here is my desk. And my bed, of course, <laughs> so here you can see it as well. So, yeah, 
So here on my desk I'm working, so here is my workplace. I'm studying or I'm working, whatever. Uh, here you can see my computer, my, my, my laptop. Uh, very little and uh, really comfortable to me. And maybe you're wondering what this kind of thing, this uh, thing in front of the, the computer actually is. Well, this is a special facility for, for blind people, it's called Braille Display, here it is. So, as I said, uh, I'm working here and I'm doing here my internship uh, on this workplace. So, I'm really glad to have this opportunity to uh, do this internship. Uh, so, I'm really satisfied with, with my team in Jena and with all the tasks that I have. So, uh, actually my tasks are um, public relations, so like social media or um, also translations. Uh, we're now preparing a, a multilingual website and I've also worked on it uh, really actively. Um, another common task that I have is like uh, correcting and analyzing some documents, giving feedback and so on. Uh, and so I'm also uh, participating in, in some workshops this uh, company is doing and I'm also helping with the organization, with the event management, so to say. So this company, uh, this is like a intercultural company and it's doing many uh, intercultural projects uh, for several organizations in, in Vienna and in the uh, whole the province of uh, Thuringen. So for example, uh, if someone, for example a school or a kindergarten or, or someone um, has some problems or some intercultural issues like problems with uh, integration of foreigners, of refugees, and so on. So this company helps uh, by uh, organizing projects, workshops, uh, in order that this organization can better cope with uh, this intercultural uh, differences. Because now you know <laughs> there are uh, many foreigners here in Germany, and of course uh, there can be some uh, intercultural uh, issues and differences that, um, where the uh, organizations um, should better cope with. So, welcome to my lunch break. Now I'm going to have lentil soup. Here it is. And so, I usually eat fruit for lunch because, I don't know, I have not so much time to eat, eat something else. I don't know. Uh, but now, but today is an exception, there is an ex exception. Uh, my mom had just cooked uh, this soup. It's very delicious. Uh, I like it very much, but unfortunately I eat it uh, really seldom. So now I'm sitting on, on my organ and I would like to show you my score. It's a piece of music in, written in Braille music. Uh, it's called uh, Prelude and Fugue on the name of Alain, Prelude de Fugue sur le nom d'Alain, by the French composer Maurice Duflé. So here you can see the dots, and in this way, so that way, I'm studying uh, pieces of music, not only on the organ, but also on the piano. So here is written the right hand, then the left hand, and then the pedals, and uh, then, so first I have to study it, uh, to learn it by heart, and then uh, to play everything together, so this is how it works. It works quite well because I'm improving and um, writing the new vocabulary. I would like to improvise for you a little piece of music and it will be on a very famous Christmas song, so enjoy! <laughs>
So now the fish is ready. Mmm, it smells perfectly and I hope it will be delicious, you know. Today is the day of Saint Nicholas, Nikolaustag in German and Nikulden in Bulgarian. In my home country, fish is eaten traditionally on this day. And that's why we've prepared here salmon, which we're gonna make on our barbecue on the balcony. And we'll have salad as well on this festive dinner. So it's time to tell you a little bit about my last semester during the coronavirus pandemic. So last semester from January 2020 to March 2020, uh, I did a semester abroad, it's an obligatory semester and I did it in Prague in the Czech Republic at the University for uh, Economics and Management. It was really a short semester, only two months, but uh, it was really interesting to me, know many uh, people from our Erasmus group and also to get to know of course new pro professors and uh, to learn a little bit more about new areas like human resources or European uh, economic integration, managerial economics and so on. So it was really an interesting time. So this semester uh, ended uh, just when uh, the coronavirus uh, lockdown uh, began in March. So I done almost all of my exams and uh, when I came back to Regensburg in March I only had to write and hand in three uh, term papers uh, in human resources, European uh, integration and managerial economics. So my exams were almost like almost finished and yeah and um, after that after this um, short semester or trimester, like it's called in uh, the Czech Republic, uh, I decided to do some courses at my university in Regensburg again because I had time and uh, I wanted to to do something from from the sixth semester, so some some courses, and uh, that's why I did uh, everything online. So while the semester in Prague was uh, of course not online, we, I had to go to the university and so on, this semester, like these courses that I did after that was completely digital, completely online. And some other lectures were also pre-recorded. So uh, the lecturer or the professor uh, recorded uh, some videos on the internet on our platform and we had to listen to them, or watch them, and um, also download some presentations and to uh, learn all the materials. So which way uh, did I find better? So I don't know. Um, both ways, both methods uh, were uh, really good to me. Uh, both the pre-recorded lectures and the live lectures uh, work very well for me. Yes, of course, it's a, a little disadvantage that uh, you are not like in, in, in a direct uh, contact, in direct one-to-one -one communications, both with the students and with the teacher, but still I'm really grateful that there is this technology and um, I was really happy to do this semester online. So what did I really miss in the uh, Corona um, time and this uh, lockdown time? Maybe you are wondering. Well, I was missing, as I said, a little bit the social contact, the social communication. Everything was online. And I was also missing the real organs and I'm still missing them. <laughs> because um, uh, before the pan pandemic, I was permitted to, um, to play a little bit the organs of my uh, old university of sacred music. So to go um, there during the weekends and to play the organs. So during the pandemic, of course, it was not possible. And I was missing this real 
these real instruments uh, a little bit. But still, uh, so it's important that my family and I are really safe and healthy. Uh, I'm really grateful that there are these modern technologies that we can use and I'm grateful, also grateful that uh, I have these two beautiful instruments here at home uh, where I can study. So the Corona semester, like the last semester <laughs> during the uh, Corona was um, really inspiring to me and uh, really interesting. And so I, I cannot complain. It worked really well for me, uh, both the um, online courses and the courses in the Czech Republic. So it was really nice. I cannot complain. So now I come to the conclusion, to the final part of this video, where I would like to give uh, the foreign students who would like to come to Germany some tips about the city of Regensburg and how it is here, how life here is and so on. So firstly, this city of Regensburg is really a um, paradise for, for students. There are many students here, so it's really organized very well, the life of every student. So, for example, um, uh, at the University of Applied Sciences and at the larger University of Regensburg, there are many libraries and many halls where you can read your books uh, and maybe write your thesis or uh, um, term paper there, so it's really comfortable, so you can go to the library, loan the book in a very very easy peasy <laughs> way and then read it and write your, your thesis and so on. So in addition uh, there are also many opportunities for sports here, so there are many gyms and you can also do uh, sports outside, in the parks, there are many facilities and so you can do this as well. Of course you can go for walks, there are many uh, roads which are very very uh, comfortable so you can also ride a bike and yeah it's it's really cool here for, for those who want to uh, do sports. Yeah, um, of course you also have many uh, opportunities for spending your spare time. So there are uh, many discotheques, bars and so on. Of course now they are not working, but still, uh, please don't lose the hope. Uh, everything's gonna be normal. <laughs> so yeah, so I would like really to encourage everyone who wants to, to live here and to study here, so to come here and uh, it's really nice here, it's really, everything is organized really well, so everyone who really wants to, to get uh, his or her higher education here in Germany, he or she can do it uh, without any problems, so it's really cool here in Germany, so Guys, come to Germany, study and maybe work as well, so you can also work in parallel with the study, with uh, your study program, so it's also possible. So that's why my conclusion, come to Germany, enjoy your life, stay safe and take care. Thank you so much for watching this video. I am super grateful to Olga for taking out the time for making this video because again, it was not easy, but she decided to come out and share this lifestyle with us and I'm like super happy about it. Also, if you have any kind of thoughts, suggestions, encouraging words, anything like that, let us know in the comment section below and we'll be looking forward to them. Thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one.